excited to share with you my precious new inn, which is a scarf. I have been hunting high and low for this and will discuss with you why this is such a special and unique piece to me and we will learn a little bit about the Hermes wash scarf today. In addition to that, I will also be talking about my fascination with other special Hermes scarves which I find unique and I am still thinking about adding them to my collection. So if you're a scarf collector, tell me if you agree or disagree with my choices. You be the judge. For those of, new, of you new here, hello, my name is Loki and I thank you for clicking on this video and for returning subbies, I warmly welcome you back. As you know, I love talking about Hermes, going into the history, letters and everything in between. So I hope you subscribe and join my family. Click the thumbs up button and enjoy today's topic. Let's get started. Okay, how I got interested in this scarf. In fact, I did not even know it existed. My friend and I were chit-chatting about several Hermes statement scarves and she showed me her gorgeous Festival de Amazon's giant triangular scarf which is so pretty with vibrant blues and the Hermes iconic orange tones. But this scarf is massive. So anyway, I love the colorway but I wasn't sure if I could rock the triangular shape that well mainly because I am a little traditional so I feel that the square still feels more proper as a scarf. I love the idea of the blue orangey tones colorway and went on a hunt for this scarf, literally whatever I could find. So anyway, let's do the unboxing and you can probably guess why this scarf is so special when you see it. There you go, see the orange and the blues. Is this the right direction? Okay, I'll get it the right direction. So ta-da! What do you think? I will put the name of the scarf below as I rather not try to butcher the name and this is in the 90 by 90 centimeters. This scarf is created from combining two iconic Hermes designs into one scarf. So it has both the equestrian theme that would be the this part here and um, it with the belt buckles on one half, which is interestingly, um, we spoke about in detail last week about the belt buckles versus the leopard on the other half, uh, which is up here. There you go. Uh, with overall beautiful orangey blue tones. I searched all the outlets in Singapore and finally found this last piece at the Hermes store in town. I was indeed beyond delighted. So this scarf was designed by two persons, Christian Bozoels and Francois uh, Milapir because it is effectively two designs in a scarf. So the two leopards uh, came from a design way back in 1967 by Christian Bozoels um, which is meant to portray the harmony of these fair lines with their natural setting while the saddlery buckles here on the bottom half um, was designed by Francois, uh, which pays tribute to Thierry Hermes, who is the Parisian harness maker and founder of the house. And if you did, did notice about the title of the scarf, it is also a washed scarf. So I was equally as confused when I saw it as it looked velvety and slightly matted and faded in colour. But I later found out that the wash scarf also means that it is washed by the artisans after production and before sale which gives it that soft, muted, faded tone which makes it unique in every piece and gives the one-of-a-kind patina. And because of this process, it can actually be washed in a washing machine and it's very suitable as an everyday scarf which I find interesting. 
so filming by the window again and we've got natural light coming in so this is a close-up of um, the scarf which I, I got and um, this is his name for it um, we do see the fair line on the top half and of course we have the bucklery which is on the the bottom half of it so it is actually the print is actually split diagonal uh, down down the scarf and um, let's have a look so of course you've got the iconic road edges of the Hermes scarf and that's how it looks and so let's put it up close this is how it looks um, with the road edges and if we run it along down to the corner this is how uh, the print is split down the, down, down the middle and it is not um, two scarves stitched together it's just a print that divides that divides the scarf so if you're wondering how this scarf looks up close um, this is your chance and so um, I really love this and um, I was talking about the uh, washed scarf overall the print is not super vibrant but it, it, you get this washed um, a washed off look which I think is really um, interesting and you know like it you don't quite think that the artisan would wash the scarf before selling it but I guess if if you're talking about um, how functional it is that you can actually wash the scarf in a washing machine I think that's a good payoff though so that's how it looks and you've got the buckles um, you've got the Hermes word here but the buckles I like the color of the buckles I mean to be honest I actually like this this uh, side more than than the fair line but you know what I really love the orange the mango orange is beautiful um, there you go so this is how it looks and all the way to the other side here it's gorgeous all right so that's um the close-up of this scarf why I feel this scarf is so much more versatile than a triangle is that I get to play with so many colors and designs in one scarf with many various ways to showcase its prints depending on the way I wear it so why I like about this scarf is that I have all these colorways at one on one edge so I can do it like this, so I can fold it in half like this and showcase the designs of the bucklery. Um, so maybe let's just try it out. So if I do it this way, and then I get to showcase all the blues and the orange, I think it's quite pretty. And okay, so let's turn it on the other side. So now we have um, the fair lines so on the corner of the fair lines there's less of the blue but the orange and the yellow the like the mango yellow is quite nice too and so let's try it um, to um, style this so I've worn like the orangey shorts I think it kind of goes with the the colorway on this scarf and I think that's quite pretty too the, what do you think I mean I think the color goes all right and of course if you know you try to be a bit more funky and maybe you want to combine both of the colors uh, both of the designs together you can actually fold it down on this end um, and then which is that you go you get both colors so this is how you look if I if I just have both the colorway showing I think it's quite pretty as well um, yeah all right so this is gorgeous Love it, love it, love it, love it. So I think that's quite a um, quite a smart move to get like a two-in-one design scarf because you can you get so many colors out of just one scarf. Yeah. Now for other interesting designs which I have been eyeing is this scarf in 90 by 90 centimeters. This is also another scarf in the half-half design but it is divided along the length of the scarf. This scarf I am in love with has beautiful blue and green tones. One half has abstract prints of scarf rings and belts while the other shows half the progresses. If I am not wrong, it's actually two proper scarves cut and joined down the middle 
So this is slightly different from the one I have, which is printed. The second scarf I am in love with is the Della Cavalleria double face scarf in 90 by 90 centimeters. I will show you a picture of the first side and now the other side. This interesting thing about the scarf is the unique dye or print technique which allows for different colors on the reverse side of the scarf. And this is not two scarves attached back to back. It is literally just one piece with, which, uh, with each side dyed differently. To be honest, I am drawn more to the colorful prints on the front side. But as for the back print, which is mostly lilac, I'm not too sure that it fits my aesthetic. Well, I'm still definitely thinking about getting a double, a double face scarf in my collection as the colour options gives me the versatility of creating different styles and looks. There are a few amazing designs popping up in the newest Hermes collection which has these double face features like the Rodeo Sore Pop double face scarf. Thank you today for coming to share my joy in hunting down this special Hermes scarf. Do leave me your comments in the comment section down below if I should get the other two designs and let me know why. I hope we all learned something new about the Hermes wash scarf and maybe if I find out more about the double face scarf and how it's printed and manufactured, I will surely make a video for it as well. Do remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't and do give my video a thumbs up. I appreciate all your support and thank you for joining me today. Take care and have a blessed week, luxurious queens. Goodbye.